good. We both like DDR, by the we way. We do. I love playing DDR. Oh! <gasps> so. <sighs> you know something? Yes. Homura is just... I, I know she's trying to be protective. She's just really cold. Yeah. Okay. I get it. You know. She's bitter. She's very bitter. Yeah. She seems very jaded. Mm -hmm. And she is just like, because Madoka's like, right, you saved me. And she's mm -hmm. like, yeah, stop being a fool. <laughs> it's like, oh. After like Saika got the snot beat out of her by Kyoko. Right. That was hard to watch. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Uh, because, and then, you know, just, yeah, lots of really interesting stuff going on with that mm -hmm. uh, but we did get some comments though so mm -hmm. uh, before we go ahead and dive into the next part of this wonderful journey uh -huh. let's pull up some comments yeah. don't you feel bad for sayaka yes i feel so bad for sayaka mm -hmm. poor girl man she just like mm, she wanted to help yeah yeah she's a magical girl now yeah and uh yeah there was something else that we were watching where someone did something for another and like they never found out about it. Do you remember what it was? Uh, it's on the tip of my head. I kind of feel like I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, and then they went off and oh, you know what it was uh, that I was thinking of. It's not something we watched recently. Okay, it's Hercules Megara. Oh yeah, where she basically sells her soul to Hades. Yeah. Uh, for it was to save her man yeah and then he went off and married another woman yeah and lived his life happily and just like kind of forgot about her yeah that was yeah I'm, I, I, yeah yeah that was such an yeah. interesting time yeah that's that. what i was getting nervous about when sayaka was like deciding to do this Wait, yeah i was like is this gonna go the same way i don't yeah and she sells her soul to become a magical girl <laughs> gets forgotten about could be uh, all right. Also, also, I need to say this. Jenny and I were talking about this. Mm -hmm. Y'all are serious, okay? Oh, yeah, the commenters. <laughs> Y'all are serious, okay? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we got a couple comments here. Yeah. And so this one is from Emery Wana 16 Yeah. And we're going to read just, like, some of it. And then we'll move on. But Madoka Magica definitely wasn't the first magical series to go dark. Mm -hmm. Previous magical shows like Sailor Moon yeah. or Pretty Cure had some dark moments. I haven't seen Pretty Cure, but definitely I seen we've Pretty seen Cure Sailor Moon. Since and it, that, first that, that definitely does go dark, yeah. too. We were talking about that when we were on live. We were yeah. doing the live group chat. And someone was asking, can you name some more dark, uh, dark what was it it was like dark anime dark, or dark, dark cute, cute girl. Anime. yeah and there's a lot yeah like there's a lot for yeah. sure mm -hmm. but for the most part the general and we were talking about sailor moon yeah and that. i was like sailor moon i yeah. guess and they're like yeah sailor moon overall was very hopeful but mm -hmm. as a series and as a franchise has had a good balance of both hope despair mm -hmm. that's despair for sure yeah. of being a magical girl you can mm -hmm. tell with any other magical shows that came after madoka definitely try to capitalize off the idea of magical girl show with a dark twist yeah by either ma ma uh, making their show it was very edgy, very mm -hmm. gory, or both. Mm -hmm. I remember interviews specifically with the director of Madoka Magica where mm -hmm. she, he said that the TV series is its own complete story mm -hmm. and it doesn't need a continuation, meaning that the two oh. recap movies beginning in Etern Eternal were kind of necessary for Rebellion. So Rebellion so. technically continues mm -hmm. and follows from these two movies rather mm -hmm. than the TV series. Mm -hmm. Homura caring about my mommy's death, or more precisely, Homura caring about any of the other girls, is subject of somewhat major debate in the fandom. I could see that. Mm -hmm. Because there are definitely other characters, other things, where they're, like, really harsh to the character they care about. Mm -hmm. But, they, oh, it's so great! Me, I'm like, man, that's so hard, rough. Oh. But I can see why some people are, like, for it, and some people would not be for it. Because Madoka, yeah. she's so sweet, she's so innocent, right? Yeah. She cares so much for her friends. Yeah. And here she is, like, losing mommy. Yeah. And Homura's pretty cold about that, too. Mm -hmm. and, but she's basically, well, what's my point, right? Yeah. You know, having Sai could get beat up by Kyoko. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll stop being a fool, right? right. I think yeah. that despite her main focus being Madoka, I think she still cares about the others on some level, mm -hmm. even if she doesn't seem like it. Mm -hmm. For example, Homura was desperately trying to warn Mommy about the danger Charlotte... Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Possesses... 
mm-hmm. and seemingly genuine upset when she realized that mommy was killed, which I feel mm-hmm. like she wouldn't have done if she didn't care about her in some sort of way. I yeah. feel like that's true. I feel like yeah. Homura does care, uh-huh. but she just has to, like, be serious, mm-hmm. right? This is, there are characters and just people in life that they care, but it's like the hard school, hard school of knocks of school or something like that. <laughs> school of hard knocks. School of hard knocks and also yeah. tough love yeah. comes into play for that as yeah. well. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I, I agree with that for sure. Mm. It's just a different type, right? Because you yeah. have, like, this cute little pink-haired girl who's going yeah. through all this stuff, and you mm. want her, I don't know if Homer's older or younger, but you mm. want her to have some comfort. And Saiki can't provide that right now because she's got the crap beat out of her. Yeah. You know? Uh, but not by Kyoko. I'm sorry. Homer yeah. is the one that she, like, did this to Homura her isn't... knocked her out. Well, I guess... Because Saika was going I thought that they're the same age, but I guess you could also pretend right. you're the same age. Yeah. And, like, she seems to come from a different time. Yeah. So that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, because we were watching Love Senior, and, like, we were kind of confused about the ages, and people were commenting confused about the ages of some of the characters. Yeah. And someone mentioned, like, oh, sometimes seniors secret. pretend that they're, like, a younger yeah, a age. Senior. Yeah, in the yeah. class. Yeah. So, yeah, that's knows? right. Kyoko beat the crap out of her, and then yeah. she was still fighting because she was healing. That's right. And then mm. Homer and I went like this, and then like knocked her out yeah. to stop the fighting. And basically, got Kyoko to back off. Yeah. Uh, Danica mm. eighty seven sixty six says, "You want to read it?" They really don't hold back with the mommy jokes in the merge. There's a figure of mommy wearing a hoodie of the caterpillar, which, with the hood being its head, ouch! It hurts right in the mommy. Ugh. They also sell the hoodie itself. There's also these sets of figures where the ships are laying in yin-yang circles, reaching out to hold hands. Oh, that sounds sweet. But since mommy doesn't have a GF, her version is just two mommies laying together. Oh, mommy. She you can know, love herself. She can love herself. Oh. But in all honesty... That's so sad, Mommy. What about one of her and Madoka holding hands, like, in the thumbnail that we used for the... It was not the last episode. The episode before last. Oh, yeah. The one yeah, before the so sadness. Cute. Why can't she be with Because her? then the, Madoka. the Madoka and Homura fans will be mad and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Madoka has two hands. Ah! She <laughs> Madoka has t- it doesn't have to be this way. Madoka has two hands. One for Homura, who's probably going to be pissed at Mommy. And Mommy, who's like, ah! <laughs> All right, and then Yora. Oh, gosh. No, people who knew Mommy before still know about her. What they mean is that because she was eaten by the witch inside of the labyrinth, that there's no body left behind. Could you? I'm sorry. I'm glad. I mean, I know it's terrible to say this, but had this labyrinth disappeared as like a dead body, that would be like, what is even happening right now? Yeah. There is no proof evidence that mommy died. When a magical girl dies fighting a witch, she usually is regarded as a missing person forever. Mm. After that, because there is no physical evidence of what happened to her. Ooh, rough. I know you've talked about other magical shows, but definitely give Magical Raising Project a try, and do try not to have a bias against it. The anime is adaptation of the first section, or basically prologue, of the series of light novels that are so good, it definitely worth at least one watch. Okay. So we have watched... It was years ago. I think ago. you watched it before me. I, I watched... No, I watched it with you. I told oh, you we watched about it together. It. You watched it together. Oh, okay. This and I must have thought that years you Years ago, mind you. Years ago, yeah. So I honestly don't remember everything about it, yeah. because it's been such a long time. I do remember yeah. there's a really cool character, Tomboy Winter Prison, that you Winter liked. Prison! Um, but I don't yes. really remember much about it. So uh-huh. we were talking about, like, down the line, because obviously after Madoka, we're going back to Sailor Moon Crystal, and yeah. we're going to do more Madoka. Yeah. And then... What I remember is Winter Prison. Yeah. She had a girlfriend. I think she had a girlfriend. Nana. Yeah, I think her and sister And then I Nana. remember Swim Sim is the worst. That's yeah, what I remember. but I don't remember why Swim Sim was the worst, because it's been a long time. <laughs> Just that she is. But that she's the worst. So uh, definitely when we first watched it, I'm uh-huh. pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, it's pretty graphic. Mm-hmm. Because, um, I mean, to me, like, I'm, you know, I'm like, wow, this is really graphic. Yeah. Um, but that's just how it is. So we'll definitely be yeah. interested, possibly checking it down the line. Something else I remember about it, really quickly, it's was, kind of right. you was that they, about me that they call. Yeah, I know. Usually, I'm like, I forgot everything. That they call themselves magical girls, which is kind of unique. Like, well, I guess they do in this one too. Like, become a magical girl. Yeah. But like, they don't really do that in Sailor Moon. They say, oh, become a sailor senshi. You know, but in that one, they call themselves magical girls. And this yeah. one, they do, too. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, okay. that's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Sailor Moon, they don't. They call yeah. themselves Sailor Scouts, Sailor Senshi, whichever one you want to use. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sailor Guardians. Sailor Guardians, that one, too. <laughs> All of the above. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah. you know what? I'm trying to think of other magical girl anime. I don't mm-hmm. know even, like, because it's been a long time since I've seen, like, Card Captain Sakura, but does yeah. she even call herself magical? Now I'm going to have to, like, which I girls call themselves? I haven't seen Card Captain Sakura. I haven't Sakura. seen the... 
the sub. I only saw the, the what they call it card captors instead of uh, card captors Sakura. Oh. And it wasn't until like one of my friends was like, oh, you should watch card captors. You should watch Sakura. I'm like, why is it called that? Because it's about her, right? Uh, and there are things apparently that they censored, kind of similar to like uh, Sailor Moon, apparently, okay. which I wouldn't have known because I'm just like watching the show. Yeah, Although there were right. some things going on. I'm like, is that guy into that guy? And apparently, <laughs> no, you can't. No. <laughs> um, so there's that. And obviously, mm. I think uh, her best friend, mm. Sakura's best friend, like is like basically in love with her. Mm. But that's kind of like, I think even like you could just tell, I could just tell by watching, like, oh, so she yeah. likes her, right? Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I haven't seen the actual, the dub. Yeah, or the, okay. the sub. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the, yeah. So I don't know if she calls herself Magical Girl Sakura. Mm. I have no idea. It's been a long, long time. Mm. Let's see here. Also, Madoka is too pure for this world. I love Aww. her more every time I read some series. She really I is. She is so, yeah, she's your best girl. She yeah. is so sweet. She's yeah. so caring. Yeah. And she just wants to help, which is why she's like, maybe I should be a Magical Girl. Homer, no. Yeah. But it's like, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Cube? Oh. Only, only a magical. No. Cube uh, could get between the two of them fighting. Can we talk about Madoka how? Madoka just wants to help. It yes. was fun. Cube, Cube. I cannot stand Cube. I know there are people that like Cube and people yeah. have plushies of Cube and backpacks, and I'm like, why? Even like he just he creepy. He creeps me out with his eyes. Oh yeah, those He's big so eyes that are just like round staring at you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, a lot of that going on there. Yeah. And another cool, interesting thing is so the Magical Girl Quintent all have voice actors who went to work for Viz Dub of Sailor Moon. Mm. Madoka is Hotaru. Oh. Saika is Yaten. I believe that was mentioned before. Oh. Mommy is Sailor Galaxia. Oh, that's dude, quite dude, a different dude, character. I can picture Mommy, no joke, in Sailor Galaxia's outfit can right you? now. Yeah, I can. I can. Homura is right. I can picture that. Mm. Kyoko is Michiru. Now that's like that's that's kind of that's kind of tough. Uh, with the Michiru one. Okay. Oh, also, a couple of you told us that they weren't trying to blow themselves up. I'm sorry. I yeah. wasn't sure what they were doing. They were doing bad stuff, right? Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, they're mixing chemicals they're together. Mixing chemicals. But they can also ingest these chemicals, too. Yeah. Uh, and the vapors. Yeah. Or the vapors. Too. Yeah. Either both. Don't know. Oh, no, no. Either yeah. way, like, it was bad. very, very bad, and Sayaka saved the day. Mm. And I'm so worried for Sayaka. Mm. <laughs> She's a magical girl. Oh, She's the best Sayaka. girl, man. She's yeah. The best girl is now a magical girl. Which normally, like, ah, she's a magic girl. No, not in this show. <laughs> not in this not anime. Not in this time. Like, oh, oh, let me think here. Best, mm. uh, well, she was already still a guardian, but Venus is best girl. She's a magical girl. That's not in this. Oh, oh gosh. Mm-hmm. This is gonna hurt, man. Because mm-hmm. you know this isn't really my opinion, like, gonna have, like, it's not, I mean, I don't know what Rebellion has in store for us, but this is not, my opinion, like, a happy anime, right? It's yeah. got, like, fun music. It's got mm-hmm. cute girls, hopeful and stuff. It gives and you those fair. things. It gives you those things to hurt you more. Yeah. That's yeah. why. Yeah. It gives you happy, cute moments. Yeah. So you're like, <laughs> oh, it's so... Uh, oh. That just happened. It's so... Uh, 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 yeah, that. Japan! Uh, what the hell? Right? <laughs> the merch. Oh, yeah. That hurts, the too. The merch hurts. Oh, why do you have to hurt us like this? Here, buy a, buy a USB drive with mom... No! No. Let's watch this cute show with cute magical <laughs> girl. Uh, oh, it's like that. It's like that. Yeah. It do be like that sometimes. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I don't feel like we've seen less of Kyoko, obviously. Mm. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, like, I do, obviously, I've said this before, I do ship Kyoko and Sayaka, but I don't oh. remember why. And hate I don't mans. remember, ma- well, maybe. So far, it's seeming like a hate man. Yeah. They did fight each other. They did. <laughs> and then Kyoko was like, I was going to injure you for three months. And then she's like, and then, and then uh, Sayaka mentioned about mommy, mommy, and then she's like, oh, now I'm going to kill you. You know, she's pretty uh, upset. Oh, yeah. So Kyoko also does care cared about what happened with mommy as well mm. but anyway we can talk about this yeah. forever but we mm. need to get watching it because yeah. you know we need to hurt some more oh is that why <laughs> <laughs> hurt me more show <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right <laughs> if you laugh about it i mean mm. you know it's gonna hurt right all right yeah it's i'm jenny of, oh good uh, it's just gonna hurt uh. I mean, what else is there to say i mean there's cute characters and there's cute music and there's like a little bit of hopefulness but and there's pain then you see what happens to mommy and you're like mm. Oh no, this is gonna end very badly. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'm Jenny. Okay, me, yeah. And we're gonna be watching more of the first Madoka movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. DDR? It's also louder than it needs to be. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Uh, Kyoko! Yeah! Oh, Kyoko and Homura! Ah. Oh. Interesting. Oh, look at her skills at DDR. Yeah, look at her go. Oh my gosh, Kyoko's voice is so cute. We both like DDR, by the we way. We do. I love playing DDR. 
Oh, she wants to work with her? Inch <gasps> Girls like you wow. are most suited to be a magical girl. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Interesting. Oh, as peacefully as possible. Oh. You keep out of it. Oh. oh. Handle it yourself. That could mean anything. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, she's smart. Oh. 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 Oh, there's the air flip. <gasps> yes. It's a secret. Uh, yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> you can't. Nope. I have to pull it back forward in case I need to flip it again. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Walpurgisnet? I think so. Okay. Is it German? It sounds German. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Is she eating Pocky? Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, she's like, I do remember her food Strawberry obsession. Pocky. Oh, yeah, that's true. You mentioned that last yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just she's Kyoko, you know. Oh. Oh. Is that Madoka's mom? Oh yeah. Oh, Madoka. Oh. Mm. I guess I can do a bit more now because of yeah. Hmm. Oh. Madoka is so sad. She's yeah. talking about Sayaka, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Yep. Uh... Oh. Mm. oh. Yeah, that's true. Mm. That's so yeah. true. Wise. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Her mom is so wise. She is. I wonder if she says something like happened with her with friends. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Madoka still wants to help. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Mm. She's seen from experience, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh wow! Oh, it wouldn't yeah, be a pretty okay, ending. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, mm. dang. Mm. Aww. Aww. Mm. That's true. Yep. Yeah. Aww. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Oh. oh, to learn how to mess up, too. Oh. Mm. Oh. Ah. Oh. School of hot knocks again. Yeah. Mm. Oh, consequences for messing mm. up get bigger and bigger. The more responsibilities are shouldering. Yeah, that's definitely true. Can you start your timer? No. Okay, cool. But I'm keeping an eye. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's why we're allowed to drink alcohol. Oh, to drink alcohol with you too, mom. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really cute. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Can we get a spinoff of Madoka's mom? That's right. Madoka's mom is awesome. Ah, oh, Saika. Best, Best girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's not there. Uh, did he go on with his life? He got discharged? Okay. He didn't tell her? That. I thought they were childhood friendos. Mm. Mm. Is she not going to? He's playing violin, I think. She's not going to bother him. Aww. She's like, I'll see you, Miss Cool Prowley. Oh! What is she eating? A churro? Oh! Dang, she was spying. Ooh, dang! Uh -oh. The little rich boy who lives. <gasps> she knows. Oh. 
Did Kyube tell her? Can he tell about another wish? Oh. Oh. What would you know? Damn. More than you tell me. She's Damn. Kyoko. Oh. It ends up going bad. Damn. Oh. Uh oh. Dang. Dang. Oh. She just very jaded that she I think lost. So. I think so. Oh damn! A sense of reality. Damn. Ah oh, yikes. Oh. oh. Wasn't she supposed to like take this not someplace else? Oh damn! Oh. I could have sworn Homura was supposed to take care of this situation. Yeah. Like Yoko's like nah. Yeah. I feel that. like she's just incredibly. Incredibly jaded. I'm Ooh. gonna make mistakes for her. Please don't oh. become magical because. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I mean, she no. is in trouble. Yeah, that she, is true. That's not untrue. That is true. Where's Homura? She's supposed to take care of this. Right? Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. Are we gonna see her transform? Hmm. Oh, this is so cool. This is pretty cool. Look at her go. <laughs> wow. Turn into nunchucks. Okay, so that's where her gem thingy is. Wow. And her spear. Yeah. Ooh. Aside, because we're going to see... Huh? <gasps> Ooh! You don't cold. belong here, yeah. I think she's trying to protect her. Yeah, I think she's too. Oh! <laughs> Pocky. What the heck? Huh? She took her soul gem. <gasps> she just threw her soul gem. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, she's got... Did she just... Moving the... Oh, what the... Oh. Oh, no. I forgot about this. Oh, my God. Throw your own friend away like that. Oh, it's called a soul gem, though, right? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Look She's at Homura go! Homura trying to get it for her. She does care. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, my God. Kyoko doesn't know about this. Homura knows about this, though. Oh. Oh. A hundred meter radius. Ooh. Rarely. Oh. You carry it with you all the time. Mm. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh. It's called a soul gem. Oh no. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, exterior hard way. Oh. That's why it's called the soul gem. Well, she's got it. I'm gonna got it. Oh, she looks relieved, kind of. Oh. 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 Mm. oh. Oh. Rip your soul out of your body. He oh. doesn't tell them that. 
Yeah, she doesn't even Zombies! Know. Aww. Oh, this is just so bad. Oh, oh my god. It's so eerie. Oh yeah, Kyoko's pissed. Better for battle. Dude, I've seen other magical girls not lose their souls and they can fight pretty well. Dude, right. that's terrible. But not in Madoka. No, not in Madoka. Oh, you always react this way. Simple? Are you oh. serious? You don't get it. I just it. don't get it, yeah. Oh, the placement Kyoko. of their souls. Kyoko, kill him. Kill him, Kyoko. Ooh. Ooh. Aww. So we saw that Homura has some kind of speed match. Oh my oh. gosh, they're flipped. <laughs> Dude. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She's like, what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Uh oh. Yeah, Cuba, you might want to tell about that, because, I mean, but it makes sense why it's called a soul gem, but yeah. at the same time, that's so bad. Oh, no, no, Sayaka! Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Aww. Others in the past, no single one ever believed me. Oh, no wonder she's so jaded. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. He doesn't think it's cool. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This music, though. Right. Mm. My goodness. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Madoka. That's true. Because they had no way of healing mm. his hand. So. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, consume magical powers little by little. I see. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm, give up on her. Oh. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, damn. That's also her best friend, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Why are you always so cold? Let's see what she says. I'm interested. Huh? <gasps> I do. I'm no longer human. Ooh. Damn. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, mm. Is it Saika? Oh, yup. It's Saika. Oh, mm. oh, no. Realization. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, no. Mm. Damn. Ooh. You didn't... For you to become magical girls, but you didn't say... Yeah, that's true. That they would give up their souls. Nope. Even if it's called Ooh. Soul Gym. Ooh. Right? Ugh. Oh, come on! That's because so... Because you never asked. Oh! Mm. oh mommy never knew! If she had known. Ah... Oh, to keep track of and protect. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, no one asked for your help with something so ridiculous. Oh, let's okay. see, let's see. Huh? Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, not just 
because of her healing powers. Oh. Oh my mm. gosh. Oh no. Mm -hmm. If you block out sense of pain, that's how you end up becoming so. Oh no. Jaded. Mm. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. I wonder if had she had known, would she have still made this wish? That's a good question. Oh no. Aww. Oh no. Ah! Kyoko! A blockhead. Hmm? She's like, where is she? Oh, oh she got an apple. <laughs> Brought a bag of apples! Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Sure. Just They're actually going to talk? I think so. They both now know. Kyoko didn't know. Right, Mommy that's doesn't true. Know. Only Homura's known. Oh, the apples, though. A long talk? She gives her an apple. She's like, here, have an apple for yourself. Oh! She oh. had to have known that was going to piss her off. Yeah. Don't ever waste food. So, so, oh, I wonder. She's... Oh. Oh, gosh. Mm. Oh. She took the apple back. She did. She won't waste oh. it. Oh! Hmm. hmm. Oh, we're gonna get Kyoko back, Story! Yep. Hmm. That's... Eerie view. Yeah. You learn what you became a magical girl? Mm. Oh! Hmm. Oh. oh, preaching stuff that wasn't in the Bible. Oh, people wow. stopped coming. That makes sense. Oh, excommunicated. Damn. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, Ooh, some crazy outcast. Oh, that's why she's so big on the food oh, thing. Oh, food. Mm. I'm wondering what it was he was saying. Me too. Mm. Aww. Aww. Wow. Ooh. I wonder where her mom is. Mm. Oh. Oh. Aww, little Kyoko! Oh, ask you, babe. Oh, oh, no. To make them listen seriously? Yeah. <gasps> Yikes! Uh, eerie people. Apple eye people. Uh. Mm. Damn. Wow. <gasps> so she would... Mm. Okay, so you take care of witches. Mm. Oh, that's the thing on his neck is what's on part of her soul gem on her outfit. Oh. Oh, there's her mom. Oh, save the world together. Oh, crap. Oh, he found out she was a magical girl? Mm, Use magic to make them come. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, the place looks <gasps> like how it is. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh no. Mm. <gasps> oh my god! Bill, he killed the whole family and committed suicide? Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay, oh, so she, she had been willing never to help to use before, magic and then that help. happened. Wow. Mm. Oh. And that's why she said using it for other mm -hmm. people. Yeah, oh. she's not wrong. 
goes badly. Oh. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, she oh. apologized for being wrong about her. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, she's really self righteous, yeah, though. So I can, yeah, too. Mm. Aww. Aww, Sayaka. Mm. Oh. <gasps> she stole them? Sounds like it. Oh, that's why she's saying she won't eat them. Oh, oh. 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 Saka gonna get to her? It seems like she's gotten to her yeah. to some degree, but now she's angry. Yeah. But that's messed up what happened with Kyoko, honestly. Mm -hmm. Damn. Poor Kyoko. Mm -hmm. ah, but definitely she explains her character. What were you saying? me and Madoka and there's Saka. Oh, Saka. Yay! Look, Saka friendos. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hmm? Mm, that's one way of putting it. Mm -hmm. Right. Ah, I still worry for Aww. you, girl. I can't help it. Huh. Oh, I think I just saw him too. There he is. Oh. Aww. Mm. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Walk without crutches by next week. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <sighs> Cube. Oh. Uh oh. He told me he's like, hmm. Mm hmm. That's a serious look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About love? Mm. What? She like that guy too? Oh crap! Oh, uh -oh. she's in love with him. <gasps> oh, Hotomi serious looks. Oh. Okay, they are shout out their friends. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Sayaka, we're... Oh. Oh. Mm. Yo. I mean, yeah. does seem like she has feelings for him. Yeah, it does. 
Oh. Oh. Not much time. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Damn. Wow. Ooh. Oh. She's leaving now. Okay. Damn. She just, like, dropped that bomb and yeah. walked away. Yeah. Mm-mm. <sighs> Saika. Right. Freaking Cube. Mm-hmm. Freaking Cube. Look about the tag along. Yeah. Oh. Aww. He wants to come with her. Mm. Don't tell her no. Yeah. Oh, don't tell her no. How could you say no to that? Yeah. I couldn't say no to that. Oh. Oh no. Oof. See? Oh no, she's not gonna tell oh. him. Oh. Oh. oh! oh gosh, oh. I hate it. Oh. 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 oh, Sayaka. So it does. Bad. It just hurts. It does. Oh. 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 I love this. Just yay! Go fight witches Aww. and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Kyoko's there. Mm-hmm. With Eating like a popsicle, I think. Homura's there. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> mm. Ah. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. Whoa. Kyoko's such a sin today. Uh, uh. So I didn't even think Baka. Oh. Uh, creepy silhouette mm -hmm. form. Whoa. Uh. This is the first time fighting a witch. Oh. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Look at her go. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. oh, no, Saika! Oh, Madoka. Oh! oh. Kyoko! Mm. Saves her. <laughs> oh. 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 Nope. Oh, that's Ooh, a creepy voice, Sayaka. Oh, yeah. Hey! That's not, like, sweet. That's innocent not my Sayaka best girl right now. From the beginning. Oh! Of this movie. Oh! oh! Sayaka, no! Oof. Oh! Oh! If I just attach myself, I really don't feel any pain. Oh no, Sayaka. No, Sayaka. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah! <gasps> That's really, Ooh. really creepy. Oh 
Oh my gosh. No, Sayaka, no, that's this bad. Eerie that's eerie AF. That's not good. That's not good. Don't attach yourself like that. Yeah. Mm-mm. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, well, it's a grief seed. Mm-hmm. Ah! Uh, uh. What? <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Oh, oh Madoka. Being there for Sayaka. Oh, this is just so creepy. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Mm -mm. No 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 no. Mm. I was worried when Kiwi said like you can detach yourself and not feel anything, and I'm like, oh, I don't like the way that sounds. Right. Oh. Yeah. Agreed. Hmm. Mm. Good for me. Hmm. It's so eerie and creepy. Ah! Ah! Oh, a soul it's soul gem, though. Oh. Oh. Sayaka. Mm. The only worth I have left in this world. That's not true. Oh my gosh. be turning our head around thing oh dude <gasps> damn this is the psycho would not normally talk with her like this come on right mm. oh she's made herself jaded mm. cut off her feelings mm -hmm. oh no there's no way she doesn't feel bad about this right there's no way i can't mm. believe that for a second come mm. on sayaka Oh no! It's... <laughs> That's not good looking either. Homura. Oh, Homura's place. Oh wow, it's fancy. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Look at the moving art. Yeah. Art. Yeah. And like some kind of. She's a very. Slurping noodles. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> we shouldn't trust each other or anything. Ah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say so. Yep. Quicker than expected. <gasps> oh. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What? Oh, she'll be causing you some trouble. Huh. Mm. Trouble how? Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Damn. <gasps> Oh. I'm sure you are. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Yeah, she's like, I'll kill you. Okay, bye, Kube. Bye, Kube. We won't miss you. Yeah, we will not. 
Hmm? Oh. Huh. Hmm. Kyoko's so interested. <gasps> the trouble that Fuzzball was talking about. Then clean mm. it! Right? Oh. Coming back for her. Ooh, her soul gem. We don't even know what happens if they're. Oh, yep. That. Uh, this part of the movie <laughs> is getting very dark. Very intense. We learned a, a lot. lot. Sayaka's like little thing where she kind of like turns her head and looks back is creeping me the f out. So um, the nightmares, would you say? Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in nightmares in this movie in general. Yeah, but that it's like seeing such a sweet and innocent mm -hmm. girl turn into that mm -hmm. is just very hard to watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is really hard to watch because mm -hmm. now we know, I mean, why it's called a soul gem. And if you really think about it, it makes sense why it's called a soul gem. Yeah. But we also, it's like their soul. It's their soul. Little. In and, that if we, gem. and if we think about it too, when we go back mm -hmm. to when Sayaka was becoming a magic girl, we saw mm -hmm. Kubei like reach in and take something out of her, which of course that's her soul Ooh. and puts it in this little pretty gem. Oh, yeah. And now she knows. Mm -hmm. uh, now, not only does she know, Homer already knew. Mm -hmm. Kyoko now knows. Mommy never knew. Mm -hmm. I can't help but wonder if Mommy had known would not be good though. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, Sonic mm. is in really bad shape, and they're talking about, like, the, her soul gem is really mm, tainted, if you will. Mm. And it seems like something bad will happen if it gets fully tainted, because it's very important for them to keep their soul gem cleansed, right? Yeah. And so it's like, oh, what do you possibly mean? We don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but that makes mm -hmm. me concerned. Also, the fact that the comments that Kubei said that she'll become a problem for you. Yeah. Like, girl. Mm is going through so much. She saved a boy she loves and right. now she won't even talk to him. Her best friend, one of her mm -hmm. best friends is going to confess and she won't yeah. because she feels she's a zombie. Mm -hmm. Madoka is trying to be there for her and then she finally fights her first wish and Hubei, it, he he says detach yourself and now she can just fight very, it's bad. <gasps> it seems yeah. like if you detach yourself it takes more mm -hmm. out of you so therefore if you do what she's doing your soul gem gets more tainted. She yeah. got a grief seed but she gave it to Kyoko because she doesn't want to be in debt to Kyoko because Kyoko mm -hmm. did technically save her. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about Kyube. How it was Kyube who told her that she could detach herself from feelings. Oh crap! I just realized how mommy, why mommy did die. Because if we think about it for a hot second, mommy died, mm -hmm. but yet her soul gem. Mm -hmm. I think her soul gem was her hair clip. So if oh. their soul gems attach to themselves uh. and they get attacked by the soul gem, they die. Hmm. Okay, that's creepy. Anyway, um, yeah, Kyube. I feel. Cuba. And then Cube went over to the other girls and was like, she's going to be a problem for you. And it's like, it's your fault, Cube. You were the one who told her that she could right. remove herself from feeling. Right. Mm -hmm. But Cube also said that her body could be destroyed and she'd keep on fighting and healing herself. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me now another theory is that if you're, because, yeah, her, her mommy had a hair beret. Mm -hmm. And when she unfortunately got what happened to her, mm -hmm. I, she got died. So that if Sai, she got died. Yeah, I don't really want to, like, something terrible happened. Yeah. Nothing ever wrong happened. She's totally fine. She's just taking a well need a break, right? Ugh. But anyway, mm -hmm. so Sayaka's soul gem is on her, I think it's on her belly. Mm -hmm. So I think if you attack the soul gem, then that would in turn kill the magical girl. Mm -hmm. uh, because the soul gem attached to you, you destroy the soul gem, and then the girl probably also would go. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, because when Kubei said, like, no matter, your body is fine because mm -hmm. your soul gem, like, well, how'd she die? Oh, mm. that's, mm, no, that's more, cr mm, Kubei is awful. Right. Because, yeah, yes. he's, she's really, like, stirring the pot. Oh, I can't mm. do anything. No, but he's very manipulative, mm -hmm. right? And I can't help but wonder, like you mentioned, did he say these things because Saika has no, quote, unquote, natural, she just became a freaking magical girl. Give her time. I'm sure Kyoko wasn't so great right at the beginning, mm -hmm. as much as like Kyoko. Mm -hmm. But it's like. She needs time to get good at it, but of course mm -hmm. now she's like, my only purpose now is to fight witches. I have no purpose. I'm not a real human being anymore. I'm basically dead. Mm -hmm. I can't help if Kyubei mentioned that attached thing, though, because he's like, oh, she'll do this. And then he also deteriorating more than expected, so he expected her already start to deteriorate. Unless, yeah. that's what they, that, unless that's the term they use for when their soul gem starts to get tainted. I don't know. Oh. But, yeah, I wonder if Kyube also, <sighs> like, given these ideas, you know, if mm -hmm. Sayaka's like, hey, if I just, like, cut myself off, mm -hmm. I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, and it's interesting to compare Mommy's situation to Sayaka's, where Mommy said, I never go on dates, I don't have friends, and already she was going through so much. But now we find out she didn't even realize that her soul had been removed from her body. So now Sayaka is 
in the same situation where she has to spend her time and her nights going out and looking for witches, Mm -hmm. but also she actually knows. Yeah. And Mommy didn't know, again, yeah. which is huge, because mm-hmm. Mommy had been a manager girl possibly two years before this all happened, yeah. so that's pretty nuts. But as Cubay yeah. says, hey, I don't, you didn't ask, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I bet you, I, I really do think, like, unless, like, Dire Straits, like, Mommy's wish seemed to mm-hmm. be, like, a pretty devastating one for her to have. Mm-hmm. But I think, had Saika known that her literal soul would be taken from her, and as he said, her human body would be a shell, mm-hmm. I don't know if she would have done it, mm-hmm. because, you know, her goal was to make Kyo- Kyosuke, Kyosuke not mm-hmm. Kyoko, Kyosuke yeah. better, mm-hmm. which, you know, because apparently his eye never would have recovered no matter what because they don't have the science or technology or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And then perhaps she could then, you know, be with him. Mm-hmm. Now she saved him, but she can't be with him. I think yeah. she, yeah, she can't be with him. Is it giving you Meg from Hercules? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Saika's basically Meg. I remember this morning I was reading a meme about her story and how Disney used to make, like, such good stories. Yeah. That, like, it's so memorable. Yeah. Um, but that's why I was like, oh, we watched something recently. No, it was that I read a meme about it this morning. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. basically, she, she, so when, you know, they really do give their, li- they literally are giving their lives for this wish. Yeah. You know, they're putting mm-hmm. their soul in the soul gem, which is like a mm-hmm. ring on their finger, which it looks like Kyoko's actually had her soul gem, like, was inside of her ring, and then she turned it into her sphere. Oh. So that's cool. Mm. But yeah, Kyoko knows. And Kyoko obviously is kind of like, okay, well, we're both kind of same position. Let me tell you my story. Kyoko's story is so sad, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel so bad for her. Me too. Here she is trying to get her dad to be believable. Mm-hmm. Knowing that kind of wish, though, and then him finding out, though, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he's a really big, like, religious dude. So, of yeah. course, he would be like, yeah, no. And then he gets mm-hmm. drunk, and then he basically unalives her family. Mm-hmm. That's not, that's next up for her. Mm-hmm. Um, so, that's huge. Like, I don't even know how old she was, but, like, let's say she is 14. She was 12? Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So, you know, she has her own stuff that she's dealing with, and I kind of get why mm-hmm. she's so jaded now, because she's like, hey, my wish destroyed my family. Yeah. Okay? Right? So, like, literally destroyed mm-hmm. my family. I lost my sister. I lost my mother. I lost my father. Mm-hmm. And because, you know, her wish came true, all the, f- they probably they were doing really well off at that point, mm-hmm. and then somehow her dad found out, which we don't know why. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's all she wrote. Mm-hmm. So I can see why she's trying to tell Saika. I So it sounds like Kyoko was like Saika at the very beginning, just like taking care of yeah. and protecting people and everything like that, uh-huh. fighting the witches. Probably Which is fighting interesting familiars. to think about. So she, yeah, it is really interesting. Like, changes how I see her. Yeah, for and sure. then she's trying to get Saika not to be like that. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's not working, obviously. You know, yeah. Saika is basically going off the deep end. We do mm-hmm. see that she is crying, though, after she told Madoka, basically, stay away from me. Mm-hmm. So she does feel... I wonder if she's also pushing her away, too, because she doesn't, in the long run, she's like, listen, I'm not a human anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to be hurt. But, of course, she is hurting mm-hmm. Madoka, but she's just pushing her away mm-hmm. to try to protect herself, which is, you know, it's rough, yeah? Like, yeah. you've got this wish that you granted. The mm-hmm. guy you've been into so long is now okay. Mm-hmm. You want to profess. Now you cannot because you learned you're a quote-unquote zombie. Yeah. Your best friend wants to go after him, but you're not mm-hmm. going to. Mm-hmm. And now you're turning off anything you can mm-hmm. to fight these witches, and you're not yeah. using grief seeds to help your soul gems. So, uh, this is very, very, I, like I said mm-hmm. before, and I'll say I'm wordy for Saika. Yeah, for I sure. Kyoko to save her. I know she yeah. already did once. She needs to do it again. Mm-hmm. Get her a grief seat, please. So interesting, though. Like, she kind of guilt-tripped Madoka when Madoka was trying to be helpful. But at the same time, she was really making it seem like she wasn't feeling anything. And then when she ran away, she was crying. Yeah. So she is feeling, oh, but yeah. I think she was just kind of trying I think she's to. trying to just, like, push everyone away. Mm-hmm. Like, she's like, you won't, I don't want anyone to care about me anymore, right? I have my right. mission. I'm going to be a magical girl. I'm going to fight the witches. I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to turn off all my feelings, everything. Mm-hmm. So it does seem like that. And because, mm-hmm. you know, they're such close friends. Right. And then her saying that stuff to Madoka, oh, you can't, can you? And I'm like, that's mm-hmm. not Sayaka. That's, that's oh. soul gem Sayaka. Yeah. But, but I mean, oh. think about it. If you were granted this opportunity, mm. it has to be a pretty drastic anyway, because even if the soul gem was out of the equation and you were still fighting magic, um, which is the rest of your life, and it's still mm-hmm. very dangerous, because, you know, you saw Mommy, now we know why more so why Mommy died. Mm-hmm. And then you're granted this opportunity, and then you find out about this. Right. You're like, wait, what? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know, like, 
how many witches there are. Like, mm-hmm. eventually it sounds like no matter what, your soul gem will eventually start to taint no matter what. Because mm-hmm. as Madoka asked Homura, hey, listen, if she doesn't do anything, oh, maintaining our bodies, mm-hmm. we have to use power now. Magical mm-hmm. power, which will taint our soul gem. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like a vicious cycle, right? Yeah. So I think uh... it would be, like, pretty... I, I really think if Mommy found out, though, it would not have been good. Mm-hmm. Um, because she's, yeah. again, very psycho. She's like, I want to help people. I want to protect. And yeah. then you find out about that, and you're like, wait, what? Yeah. However, on the other hand, I do believe that if Mommy had known that, she wouldn't have been as gung-ho about bringing in these other girls to make them into magical girls. That's true. Because at first she did tell them, like, hey, this is a very serious responsibility. She warned them. She did. She did explain what her life is like as a magical girl and warned Madoka specifically when they were walking hand in hand. That's true. She gave her a warning, but she didn't know the full story. No, she didn't. So she warned her from what she knew of. Yeah, yeah. But she didn't know about this. She didn't know about Mm -hmm. this. No, Mm -hmm. she didn't. And it would be interesting and maybe not interesting to see what her reaction would be. What if Homer Mm -hmm. told her, hey, by the way right but homer has said she has tried to explain before and no one's believed her mm-hmm. so honestly even though magical girls are kind of like well what mm-hmm. if, if homer came to you and said hey if you become a magical girl this creature that you know cube will take your soul from your body and put it in a gem <sighs> and then you are that gem that's kind mm-hmm. of hard to pill to swallow but at the same yeah. time you're a magical girl so you know yeah. also i'd be questioning why is it called a soul gem cube now, now, now we know why. Yeah. Uh, it's to protect know. the shell, which is ugh, from, yeah. like, whatever. This mm-hmm. is crazy. This yeah. anime is, like, the fact that this literally had no source material at t- when it came out, it literally just... Or the original the anime. Because this is now the movie. Yeah, 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 you know what So I mean. the movie is based on the original right. anime. Yeah. Is insane. Yeah. Is insane. Wild. Because, like, these are some pretty, mm-hmm. like, out there, far out ideas. Yeah. I have to wonder, because mm-hmm. I can't think of anything remotely similar to Make mm-hmm. a Wish With Me... And now take your soul, although obviously has been hotel now, but we haven't seen him take a soul to bring yeah, a demon. Yeah, it's like making, it's the idea of making a deal with the devil. Yeah, it kind of is, yeah. right? It's like mm-hmm. that. I can't think of any show, any anime where it's similar to like, hey, I'll have this like really creepy bug-eyed creature, like make a creepy really become bug-eyed creature. a magical girl, and in turn, I'm going to take your soul from your body and turn into a gem. Like the, the imagination with this yeah. is crazy. Yeah. And you can also see like why at the time you'd be like, what? What? Mm-hmm. There's, th- like, before you know, magical girls can die, and now you realize, oh, wait, there's even more, mm-hmm. right? So is there even more beyond this? Like, this is this, this is crazy. We're still mm-hmm. in the first movie, which is the first half of the first anime, basically, wow. with some stuff cut out. Yeah. Um, but we saw Homeless Plays, too, actually. Uh, it looks interesting with that little yeah. swingy, like, pendulum-y thingy, mm-hmm. and all this interesting artwork Right. And, like, mm-hmm. and then Cube asking the questions, who are you? Like, we get it, Cube, but you're just mm-hmm. disgusting. Yeah. Uh, so something else that I found really interesting was the talk Madoka had with her mom. I know. Yeah. I would love to see more about, like, her mom when she was younger. I'm not mm. saying her mom was a magical girl, obviously. Right. But she seemed yeah. to have, like, a really hard not. Like, she's been through some shit. Stuff yeah. As well. Yeah. It's like, okay, so you're basically talking about what Madoka is going through pretty mm. much word for word. Like, mm. but it's not going to be happy ending, right? Mm. So, like, what do you, what, what kind of stuff were you into? Like, what happened, right? right? Like, that's true. What bridges did you burn? Because it sounds like she did. It was funny her being like, that's why we grown ups are allowed to have alcohol. It's painful. Like, yeah. And it's like, oh, mm. yeah. And then this happens. And you're like, it's painful. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I do feel like, her teaching Madoka about what to do when people make mistakes, I feel like that was very mm. uh, relatable because everyone makes mistakes. Yeah. But she was explaining to her as you grow older, those mistakes have bigger and bigger consequences. So she's like, learn to deal with making mistakes when you're young. I think that makes sense. And I feel like that's something to me that I always feel seen by mm-hmm. shows where they're talking about people making mistakes. Mm-hmm. I mentioned, like, a long time ago, I had told you about how I was watching Miraculous, and it was, like, after I had made a mistake on something at work, and, like, they had a whole episode about the main character making a mistake Mm -hmm. and, like, what happened with that. So, I think it was when she was Ladybug, I believe, Marinette. I don't... Could have been. I don't remember if it was as as Marinette. But I I remember thinking, like, oh, even this, like, superhero is making mistakes. Yeah. And so, when I see 
people talking about making mistakes, it's like everyone makes mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone. everyone. Yeah, like, and says things they don't mean to say, does things oh, they don't course, mean to do, of course. hurts people when they don't mean yeah. to. Like everyone makes mistakes. Everyone. Does. So I feel like for me, whenever I see those kind of conversations about mistakes being made, I just feel very seen by them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to use the phrase that is, this is why pencils have erasers, right? Mm-hmm. We all make mistakes. And yeah. it's like, I have had friends through life where they're like, I will never make a mistake. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You, you might not mean to make a mistake. Right. But you will probably make one in your life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and mm-hmm. it's good for Madoka to know that because though so, so far it seems like she really hasn't had any kind of like um, experience with that, right? Mm-hmm. So her mom's like, here, listen, hey. Do this now. Not in a big way. Anyway. Not in a big way. Uh, of course, like I'm sure she's made ones, mistakes, sure. but yeah. But for the most part, mm-hmm. she's like your picture perfect kid. Yeah. And you know she doesn't do anything wrong. She doesn't mm-hmm. lie. She doesn't steal. She doesn't blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. So it's good for her to like learn this now, being 14. So when she's older. But of course mm-hmm. now her mother has no idea that the world that she's in now because you know she's yeah. got like, these magical girl friends. And yeah. Right? Yeah. Sonica right now is making been, a lot of steaks. Okay. Whose souls have been taken oh out of their bodies God. and put yeah. into a little gem. Mm-hmm. So oh. it seems like a lot of like the overarching theme has to do with sacrifice. Mm-hmm. And like are you willing to sacrifice for yourself versus sacrificing mm-hmm. for others? And do you regret making those sacrifices and also do you regret doing things that are helping others? To hey, also talk about Sayaka said for one moment she had her she regretted saving Hitomi. That's why I mentioned do you regret doing things that help yeah. yeah. And even mommy, she was like, I spend my weekends fighting for good. Like, she's, she felt like she was fighting for something good. Yeah. But she didn't have a life, so it's this kind of idea of sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It's pretty crazy. It's, mm-hmm. like, a whole other level of, like, magical girls, though. Because, you know, you yeah. watch, like, other magical mm-hmm. shows, you know, they always get beat up or whatever, and they're okay. Right. But this one, it's like, no, you couldn't handle that kind of pain. And then mm-hmm. Kyubei showed that when he stepped from Sayaka Soul Gem and basically uh, had to relive the pain that Kyoko put on her. That was so That was crazy. And just, oh So ouch. It's so bad, right? This, yeah. this is a very, like, a dark... Very dark anime, for mm. sure. I know there's a bunch of other dark anime out there, but, like, mm. taking a soul out of your body to put it in a gem and, you know, mm. you throw that, like, 100 meters plus away and you're basically dead? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, this is some, like, mm, like horror movie, like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> kind of dealio's over here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But if Madoka hadn't done that, they wouldn't know. Would they be better off or worse off? That's true. Knowing, I feel like had they not uh, known, Kyoko and Sayaka would be fighting each other. Probably been pretty mm-hmm. bad. Although Homura was going to step in, so Homura was going to be fighting Sayaka, I guess, mm-hmm. instead. Sayaka probably, they probably wouldn't have known still, and mm-hmm. then, you know, beat her up, whatever. She'd be okay the next day. Probably would then talk to Kyosuke, but now she feels like she can't talk to him. So, mm-hmm. in a way, I think it might have been kind of been better. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's kind of it's kind of not, because this is more of a reason for Madoka not to become a magical girl. Right. Like, on the list of things that Homura has also <laughs> told her, do not become a magical girl. Yeah. It's like, this is a top. Mm-hmm. Like, not only are you getting a miracle for some, which I mean, of course, you mm-hmm. know, I have to help but wonder, though, is there a way, like, what kind of wish could you make that would basically make this not possible? Is there a way to have a wish that this would stop happening, right? Mm-hmm. Could Madoka wish, hey, by the way, I don't want this to happen anymore. Is that mm-hmm. possible? That'd be cool, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if QA can grant something. I don't know. Like, it seems like he can grant pretty much anything. Mm-hmm. But, like, if you're just like, hey, my wish is for not this to happen anymore, that would be interesting. But, of course, mm. we don't want Madoka to become magical. I didn't want Sayaka to become magical after Mommy no. got killed, because you know yeah, they can die. Right. Even more so now, because they're, yeah. you know, the soul gem. But Sayaka's in a bad way, and I'm mm. really worried for her. Kyoko's worried for her, too, see? Yeah. Kyoko's like, yeah, before I wanted to kill you, but now I want to make sure you're okay. If I were to give one word to this story so far, it would be complex. Yes. This is a very complex story. There's it a is. lot going on. There is. And honestly, like, keeping up with it, I'm just like, wait, who's, like, fighting with whom? Like, what is, oh, gosh, like, where are people's souls going? Like, all of this is just, it's very complex. It is very complex. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's very intriguing, and it's very, mm-hmm. kind of makes you, like, you just start to wonder, like, when all these people talk about any wish in the world you can have, mm-hmm. there usually is some sort of, like, consequence for that. Mm. Now this is a huge one. Yeah. Right? Like, so mm-hmm. now now that you know, Jenny. Yeah. Now that you know that you could lose, literally lose your soul. I asked you this before. Mm-hmm. Would there be... 
anything you could wish for to become a magical girl in this universe. Uh, <laughs> if I knew all of if this. If you knew all of this. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I feel like it's easy to say no, mm -hmm. but then when you see really bad stuff happening in the world and you want to help, I can see how the urge would be there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just really freaky to think about having my soul yeah, kept babe, I don't separately know. <laughs> from my form. That's, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I want to say no now, but I feel like if... Shit got bad enough. Like, who knows? That's true. Yeah. I don't know either. I okay, I was about to ask you. I, I, I thought I was going to say no, mm -hmm. but I don't know still. Right. Perhaps when we finish watching Madoka <laughs> and all of this, whatever, I'll remember I asked this question. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, dude, mm. these are 14-year-old kids. Yeah. This is just beyond crazy. Mm. Like, oh my gosh. Mm. So, yeah. Worried about Taika, of course. Uh, mm. Yeah, that's basically my takeaway. It's like, I, <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to Saika. She's already on the deep end, right? Mm -hmm. And now Madoka's been pushed away. And that was basically yeah. her only source of comfort. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <sighs> okay, I need to go recover <laughs> after watching this episode. Oh, God. Or, or the segment of the movie. <laughs> Oh, it's still the first movie. <laughs> yeah, this is only the first movie. What else is coming? I don't know. What else is coming? I, I don't know. I, maybe what about Homorak? We can how, know what her deal is. How else is this anime going to hurt me? I mean, we know she has some kind of speed magic now, which is pretty cool. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, this anime is going to keep on hurting. I know. <sighs> all right you all thanks so much for watching and if you've enjoyed watching this episode or this part of the movie of madoka with us then make sure that you've checked out all of our madoka videos that we've done so far we will have the playlist pop up on the screen here for you yes yay and we'll look forward to connecting with you again soon we will be sending so much love till next time Laters.